Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try In the Summertime on the Ook. Alright, you're going to need an E chord. Uh, first string, second fret. Fourth string, third string, and second string at the fourth fret. That's my E chord. And uh, it, this tune follows the blues pattern, uh, the most popular 12-bar uh, blues pattern. So uh, E for four bars, and our strum is going to be down, up, down, and I kind of stop it in between each one. Just like that. Then you go to an A chord for two. A is the fourth string, second fret. Third string, first fret. And you do it twice. Back to the E chord for twice. B chord for once. A chord for once. And then E chord for two. And that's, that's the whole song. The uh, B chord is uh, you cover the first two strings at the second fret. Third string, third fret. Fourth string, fourth fret. Okay? So let me play through the whole song now. Um, it's a great song. Uh, a one hit wonder, I think. I'm pretty sure. If not, sorry, Mungo Jerry. I don't know another song by you. Um, but you got a great song here. So uh, we're going to follow the pattern of the 12 bar blues. If you don't know what that is, you should learn it because uh, there's a bajillion tunes that follow it. So E for four, A for two, E for two, B for one, A for one, and E for two. Uh, and the blues is uh, played in any key you want, but um, this is a very popular one for guitarists anyway. Um, and uh, it, it's worth learning because, like I said, a ton of tunes. So you got your E chord. A. Back to E. B. A. for the whole song. I don't know how many times they play that through, but uh, it's, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> okay? Um, there's at least eight verses or something like that that I counted, so I got sick of counting. But uh, that's the pattern for the whole song. All right, in the summertime, the lead part, I just kind of ran through it, and uh, I think I can do it. All right, I just learned the song yesterday. I know I'm about 50 years too late, right? But uh, <laughs> I woke up yesterday and figured it out on the guitar. And uh, so here I'm going to figure it out right in front of you, the lead part. Okay, so uh, on the ook, unfortunately, it's got to be a little bit high, but what are you going to do? So I think for the lead part, what you could do that's your main line. So on the first string, you're going to go 2 4. Well, what's that, 7th fret? So 2 4 7, 7 7. And then go four two four two all on the same string. Whoop. Then on the second string we're gonna go three four open just like that. So okay, and you're gonna do that twice. So let's go over it real slow. First string two four seven 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 four two. Second string, three, no, I screwed it up. What did I do? Did I forget that? Let me try that again. Two, four, seven, 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 four, two, four, two. And then on the second string, you're going to go three, four, open, okay? Just like that. You do that twice while everybody else is playing the E chord. So in other words, you repeat it. Then uh, we're going to grab an A chord, and I'm going to actually put hold down the second string, uh, second fret, and I'm going to strum it. I'm not going to strum the first string. I'm going to strum four, three, and two, just like that. Then I'm going to play open second, and then the third string. I'm already holding down the first fret. So then I'm going to go. And how I'm doing that is second string two, open, third string one. 
I do it twice. So th seconds, I, I don't know what I just said. So se second string two, open, third string one. And then second string two, open, third string one. And then back to the second string two at the end. So it, it's easier to play than say. So. Isn't that cool? Then you go back to your E chord and just join in with everybody else and go. Okay? So then we're going to go to the B chord, and don't worry, I'll play this all the way through and you'll watch me butcher it at the end. So I'm going to play a B chord. I'm going to add my pinky on the first string, fourth fret for the second move. So I strum it and then add my pinky on the fourth, uh, first string, fourth fret. Then I lift it up and just play the first string by itself on the seventh, uh, second string, sorry. I mean, second fret. <laughs> I guess I'm not waiting to butcher it. Huh? Just like that. that a chord? Then you go back to your A chord. I guess you don't need to. I guess you don't need your A chord, but it's a good anchor. I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to, uh, this time I'm going to put my finger on the first string seventh fret. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> I just did a guitar video on this. First string second fret for the uke. So, um, you can strum the whole chord, or you could just hit the second, uh, the first string second fret, and then open, and then uh, open second, and then the third string first fret. So, Back to the first string second, and then let go of the first string and play it open. So that would be a cool way, or, or you could go, that would be nice too. And then you go back to your seventh fret first string, and then first string two, four, two, no, four, two, four, two, sorry, seven, 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 four, two, four, two. And then on the second string, three, four, open. <laughs> I can see why other people who do videos don't go over every note. They just play it. Um, it's just so much stuff. You can make, get mixed up. So I'm going to try and play it. There's some pickup notes. So like when you're playing the song, and you're coming in like that, the lead guys come in with, oh, sorry, those are pickup notes, those two notes. And then this is where the rhythm guys all come in, OK? So I'm going to try it really slow. your lead part. You can you can fool around with that. Um, you could play that while uh, somebody else is playing the chords. Okay. Hopefully that's clear enough. If it's not, let me know. I'll I'll tab it all out. Uh, I might do that anyway for my my students that I see all the time, um, so that they can have it. It'll, it'll be tabbed out eventually either way. So I could do uh, Emma could put a link out there so you could see it if you had to. All right. Um, Play more ook. Thanks.